I'm going to show you the easiest way of how to cloak your website so no one can see what your affiliate ID is. Now, um, you could do this through HostGator and anyone that has a cPanel, um, if you have an affiliate ID that looks something like this, you could shorten it up so it just has your website address. So this is how you do it. You go log right into your cPanel and this is an easy way to find the website you want to work, work with. Just type in the word file and you'll notice there's two different files. This file manager and legacy file manager. Now this is the easiest way. I definitely like to work better with the legacy file manager. Click on that one and open it, the document loop. Just open it and actually hit show hidden files and hit go. Now once you get there, you'll see it's a little different than the file manager. I'll show you what the file manager looks like. If you click on file manager, show hidden files, document root, it actually doesn't matter which one you pick as long as you get the right um, website address you want. Hit go. You'll notice it's a lot more confusing than this one. This one is pretty straightforward. This one just has a lot of files and lots of files to look at. So we'll definitely go into File Manager 2, which was this one, Legacy File Manager. Once you're there, you're going to create a new folder so we could cloak your, your fillet ID. So let's create, let's do, um, I'd actually pull this up, see it has a long name, and we're going to call it our website name. I'm going to call it cat. So let's go to that one. We're going to create a folder in here, so hit create a folder. Give it a name. I'll call it cat. Create. You know what to call the cat. And double click on it. And create a file. So the first one we did was create a folder, now we're creating a file. For this file name, you always want to name it index HTML, and I've typed it in before. Hit create. Once it's created, you want to click on it, and you want to edit file with code editor. Once you click on that, scroll down, edit, hit the head button, nothing to do there. And this is where you're going to copy and paste some script. Now, I've already copied the script into this folder right here. This is actually a script and all you're replacing is this right here and this right here. So I went ahead and removed the bold that I underlined so you can see what it is. And I'm just going to put red quote quotes with the word cat. And I'll go back to the website. Get that. So this would be your fillet ID. Whatever long name you have, that will be what it is. So I'll get that. Go back to my document and paste it right where this is. I took this out and I'll the highlight. So this is actually right here. Perfect. And I'll copy paste it there. Try not to keep any space between them, just directly between the quotations. I'm going to copy it. Go back to my file. We have the file manager. The index. And remember when we open that index, we're going to paste it right here. When you notice that it says catch right there, it has that. And we're going to save changes. Close it. Now, the neat thing about the file manager 2, which is this one, one I really like, is the idea that once you go back to your public file catch, and we click on it, and double click, you'll notice that it gives you the address of the website, so you don't have to guess what it is. Now if we went to the regular file manager, we will load it, you'll notice that there's cats here as well, but if you click on it and hit say code editor, you yeah. have to double click and get to the HTML file, then you could do code editor, You'll notice it doesn't give us the website name that we could just copy and paste. You have to figure out what it is. I cancel that even do the HTML editor. You'll notice it gives it to you here, but you can't copy it. But in the file manager too, 
it's all listed here for you to copy and paste it wherever you want so you have it readily available and handy. So we're going to open this in a new tab. Let's get rid of this one. And I'm going to open this in a new tab so you can see that as well. And you'll notice it says ironclad.com cats index HTML. So it replaced what the name of this was. So people won't know exactly whatever it is that was up here. They all they see is this website address name. And it's <coughs> boys and on so they don't see your third ID. So if you <coughs> like this video and like what you saw, um, I'm gonna put the code here in the description box. So check the description box below this video and you'll find um, how to do this. So what I'm gonna put in the description box is this, which is gonna remind you to remove this and remove this. What I suggest you do is you copy it to uh, a simple text file, not a Word document or anything, because with Word documents, it adds some extra characters to it. So copy it to a Word doc document, um, get rid of the bolds, don't want the bold and replace it with what you want your name to show at the top of the website. So just like this, where you see cats, this is where you put cats so it actually showed at the top. And then you replace this with your affiliate ID number. Or your affiliate, your affiliate ID that you want to call and you don't want people to see it once they get there. You put that here and once you do that, save the page and then this is what it would look like. If you enjoyed this video, um, please check the link below for my other video um, of how to retire your job in the next six months without using a website and without traffic. Um, this video that I'll show you will show you how to retire in six months without a website and without traffic. Um, it's pretty amazing stuff, so make sure you check it out and that link will be in the description box. Thank you.